Uh, welcome to Zildjian Chats. Uh, we are live here at Good Things with Matt, the man, Hello. bringing the horizon. How are you doing? All right? Man, fantastic. Good. Lovely to meet you. You Thank, too. Thanks for your time, brother. No problem. Um, first time back out in Oz in a while. Yeah. So tell us, you, you've been in Melbourne for a few days. Yep. Just acclimatizing. Yeah, I mean, we've been, I think um, we got here Tuesday, I think. Set off Monday from home and yep. yeah, it's just a weird, weird timings. But uh, yeah, we got in the hotel at like 1 a.m. But then obviously with the World Cup on, England were playing at like oh, nice. 6. So I had about three hours sleep. And yeah. <laughs> watched Sick. that. and uh, But yeah, it's been cool. It's always nice being here. Nice to be back. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it just takes a little getting used to. It does, I, I bet. And, and Melbourne's obviously turned it on. It's sunny. Yeah. Um, three festivals in a row, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. Um, Headlining the, the whole show, yeah, mate, huge. It's pretty, pretty mad. What can we um, expect to see from you guys? I've been watching your shows recently. Uh, when we were young, first I looked up some clips of you guys, yeah, playing, and um, obviously you've got the gigantic screen, you've got huge production. Are you guys bringing that that to the show? Yeah, I mean, um, it's part of our show. We like to put a lot into our show, a lot of thought, a lot of time, and uh, we like to take it wherever we can take it you know and uh, yep. like say we're headlining the festival so um it's 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 a, an option if you know what i mean maybe yep. if we weren't headlining it we'd have to scale it back or whatever but uh yeah we've got the whole set up today yep. so uh, yeah yep. it should be fun man epic and um i've been a big fan of the band for a long time and obviously you guys have, have changed throughout throughout your career and, and developed as artists and Pretty much every sound you've ever kind of taken on, you've dominated that and, and, and crushed. Yeah. Um, what's that been like from a drumming perspective? Like, have you kind of had to approach things differently from album to album or? Yeah, I mean, I've had to learn a lot of different styles of drumming, I think. I mean, when I first started playing drums, I could, I, I could barely play. I barely played my kit. Like I lived with my mom, my parents separated and my kit was at my dad's house and mm. I rarely went to my dad's. And, yeah. um, I don't know why I ever told anyone I could play drums because I could barely play anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was weird. So when I first started out, it was just sketchy. I didn't really know what I was doing. I could really just go fast or slow. And then mm -hmm. as the bands progressed and we've like incorporated different styles, different sounds, I've had to adapt my playing and just um, yeah, just take it on to another level, I suppose. Yeah. And um, just just learn things. But that's been cool for me because I. I'm a kind of a lazy person, whereas I think if the band didn't do things like that, I probably would have never learned. Right. So I've kind of just took it in my stride and enjoyed learning. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's been it's been cool. It's been fun. I'm always learning new things. I'm still yeah. not I'm still not perfect, um, you know. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, that's a good answer. I, you know, no one ever ever is. That's the thing. Like you're, you're drumming, it's just yeah. You just keep getting better forever and ever and ever. Yeah. Um, and and that's a question I've been asking some of the guys. I asked Abe from uh, Jeff, Tones. Jeff Tones. Yeah. He's been in the game forever. Yeah. He's one of the goats. Yeah. Like what's he kind of working on? Like, like when I play shows, I kind of go out each night and think about like what am I working on tonight or what am I kind of focusing on? Like whether it's a small, tiny little thing. Yeah. It's like, am I? scaling back my playing tonight or adding more and we're going crazy tonight yeah is that the kind of thing you still do like is there room for you in the set to kind of turn it up a notch if you want or um for the most part i just try not to fucking fuck up yeah you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. so i'm I'm, ner I'm bagging nerves i think right I've, I've gotten worse i think the pandemic made me worse right like because before that i was just on a roll and yeah, yeah, playing yeah. shows forever and ever and yeah. ever and then i had fucking a year and a half off yeah and um, it's kind of like mashed me up a little bit. Right. And uh, I think ever since coming back, my nerves are w way worse. Yeah, right. So it's hard. It's hard just trying to like focus. And so all I'm thinking is just play, play good. Like what's coming up next? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. And I mean, there's always little bits in songs. If you're feeling it, you can do a little, add a little bit here yeah. or there and stuff yeah. like that. But at the moment, I'm just trying my best to, to play the songs well yeah. and come out of at the end of the show feeling good so and and i'd imagine with your show like because it is such a big show there's screens there's lights there's probably time code and stuff like that happening yeah like, it's all to a click Everything's yeah it's to, to a click lot yeah. lot going on yeah yeah like apart from playing drums you're clicking your ears you've got screens going up you've got fire shooting there's yeah heaps of stuff to kind of distract you i guess 
Yeah, a little bit. I mean, mm. but I love playing to the click. I think Same. it makes me feel like I'm playing well. I think before maybe I, I could rush or I could play too slow, or mm -hmm. whereas the click, it just helps me lock in. So mm. I, I don't think I'll ever play a show not playing to a click. But, yeah. but like you say, it's part like part of our shows, the visuals, and mm. um, we've got a lot of sounds going on. We've got a lot of yeah, just shit happening. So we need mm. we need the click. And but I have to say, I I I love it. Changed my playing as a yeah. drummer. I remember the first time I ever played, we recorded our first full length record and uh, the guy recording us, he was like, you're gonna have to do this to a, a click. And I was just like, what the fuck's a click? <laughs> and I remember it took me like two days to get my head around it. And once you get it, you just get it. Yeah. It just, it's not like, you just forget it's there when you're yeah. playing live. It's just, it's just part of what you're doing. Yeah, but, yeah I, I love it. I'll never play a gig without it. Ever. I feel like it's a security blanket too for me. Yeah. Like I have an accent on the one. Yeah. So like I always know where the I do as well. Is. Yeah. Yeah. The click's my sound as well. I'm just like, it needs to sound like this. If it do not sound like the click I'm used to, yeah. like, we're changing it. You know, as far as you are. So, yeah, I'm just Same. saying, no, change it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Accent. I mean, everything we do is in 4-4, four, four, so it's not fucking crazy. Yeah. In this, but uh, yeah, absolutely. And um, I mean, this is a, a, a chat for Zildjian. Yeah. So we'll, we'll dive into some symbol stuff. Um, have you got like a staple kind of symbol that you've, you've always used or are you running any kind of cool effect symbols or anything um, different or, or somewhat new? I mean, forever I've just used the Crash Ride. Yep. As, I don't use it as much anymore. I play a lot a lot more grooves on the hi-hats, but when, yep. when the band was just playing like metal, it was just the go-to symbol, but I still mm -hmm. have that. Uh, I swapped my China symbol out for uh, EFX, which Sick. I love. Yep. Um, I just love the like dryness. Yep. And... Um, same with the K's. I used to play a lot of A when I played more metally stuff, but whereas mm -hmm. I'm growing up, I'm, my sound is just... I, I, my favourite drum sound is, you know, when you've just got cans on mm. and nothing else, and your drums are it's just low end. I love yeah. that sound. And uh, so I like that with my cymbals as well, just yep. to be very kind of like dull almost. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think a lot of people have probably done the same thing gone from the A to the K so lots out that I've spoken to today yeah, yeah. I, my setup is pretty much all K except for uh, the EFX yeah yeah. one quick last question just out of curiosity You've got such a big catalogue of music yeah ranging from psycho crazy <laughs> stuff to like a load of shit nice, stuff to good stuff melodic yeah. pop cool, yeah. cool, cool rock stuff like you've got everything and it's all awesome is it fun for you during the set kind of jumping from one to another I, honestly the easier the groove the better for yeah, me <laughs> like we did a show in Malta and it was like uh, we we did like a throwback set of all the old songs and that fucking hard work yeah man. man it was just like I haven't played drums like that in like 15 years mm. so it was just like going from learning how to play drums properly to going back to playing these songs where I didn't really know what I was doing or yeah. I just kind of made it up so it was just like I need to learn how to play shit again do you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean so, yeah 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 but it's weird but no I like playing it all man it's like yeah. we don't we don't really play much of the old stuff it's pretty much like Semper Turnum onwards so Sick. The, the records back then it was just I was just trying too much I was too much kick pedal in there I was just like in that mindset of I just need it needs to be insane the drums mm -hmm. need to be insane where they don't mm. the drums need to just fucking sound good for the song exactly whereas now I'm just pretty much a uh, I drum for the song, but mm. don't drum for myself. Do you know what I mean? It's such a it's such a cool thing for like young drummers to hear you say that. Yeah, to, but yeah. I think that's the thing. It's like it doesn't have to be insane. Yeah. You don't have to be doing all this crazy stuff. I mean, if you want, mm. if you want to go for it. But for me, it's just all about the, the song. Mm. Um, I think it was just coming up in like a, a metal scene, mm. watching all these metal drummers playing all this wild shit mm. like really well, and yeah. I just try it, but never kind of be able to do it as good and then going into like playing like you say like more poppy grooves and like mm. just more rocky yeah and not so much metal and stuff like that it just settled me down and made me realize that you know the, it's an old saying it's maybe cliche but it messes really more yeah for me nowadays yeah and i don't mean i mean i am a lazy person don't get me wrong but it's it's, it's all about the song man. yeah it's just the song whatever's good for the song yeah that's that's an awesome response um something a lot of people could, could learn from especially yeah. like you guys the level that you're at the stuff you've done like the lessons that you've learned on your journey you're like at the forefront of that yeah so for you to kind of relay that back is, is cool yeah it's cool i mean 
it's weird for me. I, I see a lot of drummers on Instagram and just like kids in the bedroom playing fucking mad stuff. You yeah. Know? It, and it's just it's just wild now. Drumming's I think it's on a whole different. Mm. From what I, like I was saying, I, when I grew up, I'm, I'm a rock drummer. Mm. That's my bread and butter, like rock drumming. You know what I mean? But now you're seeing these kids playing rock music, but adding like loads of like gospel flair to it mm. and stuff like that. It, it's, it's fucking awesome. But for me, I'm just a, I'm just a, a rock drummer at heart. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, now it's. It's mad now, and yeah. I, it is good. Yeah, it makes me a little jealous when I see <laughs> yeah. when I see kids Same. playing my songs better than me, oh, right. yeah. and like adding bits, and it's just like that's stuff. awesome. Yeah. yeah, it must be cool to watch people cover your, your stuff. That's very cool. Yeah, honestly, like nine times out of ten, they're playing it better than me. So yeah, it's cool, mate. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, man, we've got to wrap it up. Cool. That was an that was an epic chat. Thank you very much. We appreci- no, for appreciate me. your yeah. your time, man, and. Um, have an epic run while you're here in Australia. It's, it's been it's a short, long time and everyone's In and out, gone. three shows, gone. But oh, um, it's always fun here. We love it here. I mean, it's, since we've come here for the first time, it's mm-hmm. always been good. Yeah. yeah. We've always enjoyed it. And it's, yeah, this has been no different. Sure. Epic. Cool. Enjoy, man. Thank you. Done. Legendary. Thanks, cool. man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Appreciate it. Thank you, bro.